Blah, blah, blah. He wants me to kill a few things. And also, if I did take the time to read all these quests, the quests are all, like, pretty interesting in their own right. I know everybody always praises Final Fantasy for their writing for their quest lines, but I mean, the quests here are very ground level. The one thing I don't like about Final Fantasy and most modern MMOs is they always try to make you feel like the chosen one. You know what I mean? I don't want to be the fucking chosen one. I just... I just want to be a guy. I just want to be a dude in a world, man. I, like, my isekai dream or whatever is not to be, like, the Kirito. Like, I don't want to get dropped into a world and I'm like, <laughs> I'm the fastest reaction time guy and everyone secretly wants to bone down with me. I just want to be a guy, dude. I just want to be a guy who exists in the world. I want to be a ground level mook that nobody really acknowledges that like every once in a while I do something really badass and on like a uh, like town wide level, right? People are like, oh, wow, this guy's so cool. He saved my like baby lamb or whatever and punted that orphan into the river. Uh, but I don't want the every dude that acknowledges me being like, oh, chosen one. You're the chosen one. Just like those 80 people who came here before you. Can you please protect us? No. No, I'm not the chosen one. I'm a guy with a sword. I'm a guy with an ax. Leave me alone. Please. And these guys get it. Wow gets it. I'm just a guy, dude. I just want to be a guy, dude. Yeah, I'm just a poor guy. Poor boy from a poor family. Altair might kill you for these comments. Listen, somebody... Okay, here's the thing. Somebody has to be the chosen one. If Altair wants to be the chosen one, great. I want to be the guy running around in the background hitting things with axes, all right? If Altair's the chosen one, I want to be the guy who ran past him in the dungeon cackling with, like, 50 goblins on his trail carrying, like, loot on one shoulder and a corpse on the other. I don't want to be the main guy. <laughs> Anyway, I don't mind isekai stories. I think they can be done really well. I think the chosen one trope can be really, really good. The best way I've ever seen it, I was reading, um, I was looking for like old fantasy book recommendations a while ago, and I started reading a book series called, uh, uh, fuck, it's, I've only read like the first three books. It's kind of wordy and it's pretty old. It's like a, it's definitely a product of its era which is to say the writing style is a little dated. Um, Wheel of Time. I started reading the Wheel of Time novels. And their way they wrote the Chosen One character is so, so good. I'm like, this is good Chosen One writing. But I haven't finished it, so no spoilers. But anyway, I think the Chosen One trope can be done well. I think it's definitely not like the worst thing in the universe. There's opportunities for it to really sing. But for the most part, when I play an MMO, it's just cognitive dissonance when every jackass that's running around wearing their clown nose and carrying their fucking oversized Kingdom Hearts shoes and their, like, squeaky toy hit stick is the chosen one. Like, I get it, guys. Yeah, cool. We all want to feel special. It feels like a bunch of mane sans coddling us gently in the corner. It feels like they're all like, oh, you're the chosen one, Gerard. And you're the chosen one, too, Octavio. Aren't you special? And you're a special chosen one ruse no i don't want to be the chosen one you can just acknowledge that i'm good at hitting things that's fine that's fine but i'm not the chosen one and also don't you feel so much cooler when you're just like a, a farmer from bumfuck nowhere and you overcome like impossible odds this is why diablo 2 is better than diablo 3 and diablo 3 you're like the nephilim I'm the son of a demon and an angel, and I'm so cool and strong, and I definitely didn't get myself from a DeviantArt OC. But no, in Diablo 2, you're just a guy, man, and you're fighting the forces of hell that feels so mundane and badass. That feels like struggle. That feels like dark fantasy. You can see yourself in that. You can't see yourself in Kirito. You can't see yourself in, like, I don't know, Aragorn. But you can see yourself in Boromir. Boromir's just a guy. He's just a guy trying to do right by his people, right? He's just trying to do the right thing, and he's fallible, and he's weak at times, but he's strong when it matters. Anyway. Oh, hi, Fleon! <laughs> Your charisma is insane? What? No, my charisma is... Yeah, yeah, it's insanely low. <laughs> anyway, Boromir's the best member of the Fellowship. This has been my rant. Bye. <laughs>